Redeemer! It is by my hand you will rise from the ashes of this world! The post-apocalyptic action-adventure film Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, is all set to release in theatres on 23 May 2024 in Australia and in the United States on 24 May 2024. There is everything that we got to know about the spin-off and a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road 2015. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, has been co-produced and directed by George Miller. Miller has co-written the script with Nico Lathoris. Produced by Warner Bros. Pictures, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga also marks the fifth film in the Mad Max franchise. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, features Anya Taylor-Joy in the titular role of Imperator Furiosa with several acclaimed actors like Chris Hemsworth, Alayla Brown, and Tom Burke in supporting roles, thus making the film even more exciting than it already was. For the unversed, the incredibly talented Anya Taylor-Joy rose to fame with her part in The Wee Wits before going on to star in other high-profile movies including The Queen's Gambit, The Super Mario Bros. movie, Split, Last Night in Soho, The Menu and The Northman. Imperator Furiosa is solely going to be her most violent and action-packed outing so far and yes, the fans are very much dying to see her in this new guise. To give you a sneak peek of how it all started for the project Furiosa, in March 2020, George Miller started casting auditions for the title role for the film Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. In October that year, Taylor Joy, Hemsworth and Jahaj Abdul Mateen II were featured in starring roles. However, due to scheduling clash, Abdul Mateen was replaced by Burke in November 2020. Many members of the crew from Fury Road made a comeback for the movie. The team members include screenwriter Lathoris, film editor Margaret Sixel, costume designer Jenny Beaven and composer Tom Holkenbach. Principal photography was held in Australia from June to October 2022. We'll get into the details of the filming timeline at a later stage. Now let's know what the story of the film is all about. Well, the official synopsis of Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, reads, As the world fell, Jean Furiosa is snatched from the green place of many mothers and falls into the hands of a great biker horde led by the Volod Dementus. Sweeping through the wasteland, they come across the citadel, presided by the immortal joy. While the two tyrants are war for dominance, Briosa must survive many trials as she puts together the means to find her way home. It is announced that the prequel will focus on Imperator Furiosa's past and reveal to the audience about her challenges before she meets Max Rokotansky. Her story of becoming a bold, courageous woman and a moral leader, along with her challenging past, will be focused in the prequel. What went into shaping Furiosa into a positive feminist action hero will be narrated in the film. The film is also anticipated to give answers to questions about how Imperator Furiosa lost her arm and had to make use of a prosthetic in its place. Coming back, let's now learn about the filming timeline of the Furiosa Mad Max saga in much detail. It was reported in March 2020 by Variety that George Miller has been using Spike to organize casting auditions for the lead role of Furiosa, which is a Mad Max Fury Road 2015 spin-off film focused on the part of Imperator Furiosa. Anya Taylor-Joy was one among the several candidates who gave the online audition. In October of 2020, during the severe COVID-19 challenging times, the film got to, into advanced development, with Anya Taylor-Joy getting finalized to be cast in the main lead role, and Chris Hemsworth and Yaj Abdul Mateen II were cast to be the co-stars of Anya. Anya was selected after her performance in an early cut of the film, Last Night in Show, was noticed by Miller. Miller also gave her the task of Mad as Hell monologue from Sydney Lumet's network as per of audition. Guess what? Annie was paid $1.8 million for her involvement. In February 2021, composer Junkie Axel, who had earlier worked to score Fury Road, announced that he would return for Furiosa. Jenny Beaverden also agreed to don the hate of the costume designer. Unfortunately, a scheduling conflict made Abdul Mateen quit the project in November 2021, thus making way for Tom Burke cast to replace him. Burke is well known for his performances as Athos in the 2014-2016 BBC series The Musketeers and Dolokov in 2016 BBC miniseries War and Peace, which was an adaptation of the classic novel. The following year, in January, it was reported that Simon Duggan would be working as a cinematographer. In June 2022, it was confirmed that Nathan Jones and Angus Sampson were all ready to play their parts from Fury Road. In August, Quaden Bales, 
who performed on Miller's 3,000 years of longing after a video about his mistreatment at school went viral, was confirmed to be appearing in Furiosa in a small but relevant role. The film has received an award of 175 million Australian dollars filming incentive, and it has already spent a total of 233 million US dollars, which is 343.2 million Australian dollars in Australia. This makes Furiosa grab the highest ever budget for a film production in Australia. Ultimately, the shooting for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, started in June 2022 after earlier having been postponed due to COVID-19 pandemic. Production in the first place was held in New South Wales, Australia, mainly in the towns of Hay and Silverton, which is often regarded as a ghost town, considering it has a very small population of just 26 people. In October 2022, Taylor Joy shared that she had completed shooting her part for the film by sharing a post on social media Instagram. Filming of the entire movie was officially wrapped on 3 November 2022. Earlier, the film was originally scheduled to be released on 23 June 2023. However, the strikes in Hollywood delayed the entire post-production timeline. Thus, as we already told you, Warner Bros. Pictures will be releasing Furiosa in theaters in May 2024. A trailer for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, was recently published online on November 30, 2023, after it was officially unveiled at the 2023 edition of CCXP. The two-and-a-half-minute preview sets the stage for the film with the following text hovering above the roads of the wasteland. 45 years after the collapse, a young Furiosa is taken from her family. She will devote the rest of her life to finding her way home. This is her odyssey. Seeing Thor star Chris Hemsworth performing the part of the villain, Warlord Dementus, it's something that fans of Hemsworth would eagerly wait to catch. After all, he's going to step out of his usual MCU character. However, this won't be the first outing for Hemsworth as he is also featured in the Extraction movies, The Cabin in the Woods, Snow White and the Huntsman, Ghostbusters 2016 and Men in Black International. For OTT lovers, the film will eventually be made available to stream on the Max streaming service at a later date. Are you equally awaiting and very much excited to watch the fifth film in the Mad Max franchise that will focus on the origins of Furiosa? If you enjoyed watching our informative video in Furiosa, then feel free to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting updates.